Executive Director of Survivors Art Foundation. I'm an artist and I'm a survivor of sexual abuse and rape. And in dealing with my recovery from my trauma, from the abuse, I found that art and poetry helped me heal personally. It helped me so much that actually I wanted to help other people. I founded the organization in 1997. I wanted to envelop all survivors. And we get these applications in from people with the most amazing stories and they all bring something to the organization. And what we're trying to do is reach out to those people and let them know they're not alone because it's very important that's the first step in being able to recover and survive. The reason I paint comes from the fact, uh, the fact that when I was eight years old, I was hit by an airplane that was landing out in a field and the propeller had hit my arm and drug me you know, down the runway and basically I lost, lost my um, hand. Um, went through my life you know, differently that way, but the, you know, the support of my parents and my siblings was great. I started doing a lot of things that were like disability themed about myself, you know, I'd maybe take the arm off of somebody in one of my paintings, you know, kind of like, ha ha, it's, you know, self portrait -y kind of stuff. And then I would, you know, like do some issues of that, like what the way people would maybe view me or how I thought they would, and that's the person I would put in the painting. I as a child was in an orphanage with my two brothers and my sister. It was called Dante. I and my brothers and sister were abused by just about every adult that we should have trusted. The reason I was able to survive was because not only did I have a spiritual connection, but I also created art. And as a little girl, I started drawing and painting and I could create beauty amongst chaos. And nobody could touch that. I had a heart transplant and a stem cell transplant. In September of 89, I was in a motorcycle accident. And from that accident, they realized that I had a tumor. And the tumor turned out to be Hodgkin's disease. The music has helped me through all of this. The music is my therapy. It is... Um, my guiding light that pulls me away from much of this because you need something to, different to think about. And I'm an artist and um, I've been doing it for a long time. I started off uh, drawing like a kid, like a lot of people, but I kept at it and did it more and more as, as I got older. I went to college on a scholarship, went to a good school, an art school. My father, who was not my biological father, by the way, I was adopted, um, was an alcoholic. And um, I became one too. Very early on, basically, I started drinking while I was working too, because I saw no reason to make any division. I never had a real job. I always kind of worked on my own. I always kind of hustled. I always found myself in these places, which uh, I couldn't work my way out of, kind of. But this was always, the drawing thing was, uh, like someone once said, a doctor, actually, you know, thank God you got this. And it is. It's my lifeline, you know. It... All my life, I had always something to do with art. Like, I was always drawing or doing something. When we came to Brazil, our neighbors had a, like a teenager and he didn't like foreigners and we were like, I was very blonde at, at the time. So he decided to burn me and he attracted me with a glass of, of alcohol and he said to, if I wanted to see water burn, of course I wanted to see water burn. So that's how I burned. I was five, almost six. My last doctor said that he could not explain how I survived. I was blind also, and um, somehow I got my eyes like perfect vision. This was, I consider like a gift. I was always a sculptor. It's not because of the burn, but it did help me with, let's say, understanding myself, dwelling into myself. 